Hey, it's Mikey. I'm a full-time reseller. I went to Goodwill recently the other day to thrift for items to sell them online, and I found some stuff at the first one, but I decided I needed to find more. So I went to another Goodwill, and I found this awesome, awesome golf bag, you guys. Here's a piece of the golf bag. Now, you might be wondering, why do you have a piece of the golf bag? What is the deal with this golf bag? Let me show you what I found. You wouldn't believe the low, low price I paid for, and the eBay comps are astronomical, you guys. So I picked this bag up. It had damage in it. So I needed to decide if it was worth investing to fix it to sell it. Let's go thrifting. Let's head on over to the shoe repair place and see what the dealie is with this awesome bag. Let's go. I'm going treasure hunting inside Goodwill. Now, I like to go into the Goodwills, thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and I like to find items to flip online. Mainly eBay is where I sell them, so I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna share with you guys why I am buying stuff and why I'm not buying stuff. Do a little research, hopefully make some money. Let's go inside. Goodwill, friends, Goodwill. Good day at the Goodwill. Stop on by the barbershop not your spot you guys i can't wait i'm so excited it's gonna be a good day I'm really really looking good good thanks for yourself 50 off awesome thank you sir right, you guys you heard it here first purple tags 50 percent off so let's go check out the new racks it's already a big long line today it is a discount day today so let's see what we can find i see the pickers professional pickers but that's that's what we are guys oh Harry Potter. Cacaw, 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 you guys. Let's see, we got some fresh new racks right here. It's always. It's always a good place to start. Ultimate hockey trivia board game, some art. Mm. More art, friends. Well, that one's kind of nice, but I'm passing. All right, here we go. Last time we found one of these, did pretty good, $2.99. Check out that Legend of the Big Cats, you guys. It's $19.99, it's $25, no comps. I don't know about the Legend of the Big Cat. Ooh, here's a Ghostbuster. Don and Carrie just bought a Ghostbusters at the bins, you guys. They had a Slimer dude in there. No Slimer, no top, so I'm gonna pass that for four bucks. Leave the toys to the toy experts. All right, guys, I'm gonna go down this one, two, three, four, five, six racks. Six racks of new stuff, so it's all women's, but I'll let you know if I find anything. I saw these in the short sections. You could just see them sticking out. Kind of stuck out this design. So, six dollars for some Ed Hardy board shorts. Bag it. As I gotta say, it is pretty bare in here today. So, hopefully, we do find some stuff. That's always, always the problem when you go to the thrift store. I mean, a lot of times you can find stuff. The more categories you know, the better chance you have. But sometimes there's just not good, profitable items in there that day for whatever reason so let's check these things out they are huge Look at this ferrari thrustmaster i love these type of things but it's a little bulky and they're asking 80 for it it is a discount day but just can't do that ferrari and i thought this was going to be a score it still could be a score you guys but look at that it's missing right there so someone crack the code not cool people not cool Friends, we are fully loaded in the glass section today. We got dolphin business card doohickeys. Ooh, what is this guy, you guys? He's heavy. I don't know though. Does he hold some kind of candles? Does he need a second piece? Am I foolish for leaving him behind? He doesn't have any marks. You guys always teach me so much when I come through here. I mean, I know a lot of different sections, but I don't know everything about every section. So let's just see what we have through here. Got some knighted up bookcase ends. 2002, that's vintage. Avon, you guys. Porcelain chime bells. Don't know about Avon.
something? Is this green star? Is that a pickup, you guys? Just because it's green? And it's only two dollars? It's interesting. Let's uh, temporarily set them in here. Let's see if we can add to it, friends. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at this, a leaning angel, bisque, a leaning angel here. Gift co? Gift co, you guys. Gift co, bisque. Leaning. See how she's got the lean? That's me standing in the wind. So, look at these bunnies. They seem to be uh, to some funny business. I don't know. Saying it's a Mikasa Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit resin statue. Oh, look at that, you guys. Mikasa resin statue. I didn't even know they made resin statues. Always learning. All right, couldn't find any comps on the statue, you guys. And it's not all that, honestly, but I was kind of curious. What are these things made in China? Little bathroom tchotchkes. Let's see what else we're coming down to here. Oh, this is a fun fishy. Oh. It's kind of a cool garden fishy. I almost am tempted to take him, you guys, but I'm going to leave him for someone else to possibly enjoy. I don't even know what that is, friends. This pedestal dish right here. I don't know. We've got a big old honking flower, a little cacti prickly. Prickly pricks, so let's keep going. Anything down low, you guys? I don't like to bend down low. Do you even hear it in my voice? I like the top shelves. All right, park that way. Hey guys, nothing much in the glass. Nothing much. We might have to change plans to get the heck out of here and hit some more stores. It's been slim pickings, a lot of times it's slim pickings and I need some profitable items to throw on my eBay store. So I think we're gonna hit up at least one other store. We gotta hit up some stores until we find the good stuff. Make sure you stay along for the whole thing. Who knows where the day's gonna take us. You know what, I could be wrong on this one, you guys, but I just like it. Even the textured right there, you can feel it. Look at that, so. We're gonna bag this thing for only two dollars. I'm pretty sure I can find a couple dollars of profit and someone who's really gonna enjoy it. I'm waiting in line right now. I'm giving you two for one today. We're gonna go to two thrift stores because I found some awesome stuff here, but I'm still hungry. So we're going for round two, double the thrifting today. There's a lot of cars out here. It's prime picking time, so hopefully we find some good stuff. I'm already super happy with my awesome find of the Ed Hardy board shorts, plus that easy fishing lure, which helps pay for the gas to get here. So let's go inside. Let's find items to go flip on eBay, make some money, have some good times. Let's head on in and bag some items. Right, here we go, here we go. Oh, guys, I can even grab that cart. Let's go. Let's find some good stuff. See if there's any new racks out. Let's see. Here we go, friends. It's more crowded on the outside than the inside. That's good. See two racks of women's. I'm looking for men's first, but I'm not afraid to check out the women's. That Fashion Nova shirt. <laughs> Guys, still more women's. No fresh rack of the men's. Lots of golf clubs out here, you guys. Let's see what is going on here. Sometimes these aliens can be worth it. Let me investigate that. There's a double kind of aliens, though. Tons of golf clubs here, though, you guys. Tour Model S. Putters and drivers is what I usually look for. Perhaps Blue Ridge. 
driven bag. Okay, right, guys, let's check this thing out right here. Paps Blue Ribbon. I looked at some of the comps for brand new, and they were $200. So, this thing's only 10 bucks. I saw a slight bit of damage on it, but it's no big deal when this thing's going for like two billies. Now, it probably will cost 60 bucks to ship, but I'm still thinking it's going to be some sweet, sweet profit suds, you guys. I'm so glad we came here on the second time. So... Look at that bag. Excellent condition all the way around. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, you guys, look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. Only $10, man. Would you keep it or would you not? It's pretty bad damage. But it's pretty clean otherwise. Let's just hold on to it and find out. This is just so sad. So, so sad. Perfect otherwise, guys. Investigate that, friends. We're battling today. We're battling. But look at this. I just picked up this mic stand. I think we're going to be able to use that. I got some shoes now going over there. This guy's scoring some major art. I found a fresh rack and I found some Jordan shorts. Jordan shorts can do pretty good. Look at these. These are long. They got the cool little two, three right there on the front. So they're only $7. They'll sell for 20 or more easily. So we got the little side hit right there on the Nike with the drawstring. Really cool and stylish. Super clean right there on the white. So we're super stoked about that. And then we found these like fleece tech joggers something. I don't know you guys. These are Nike. They're nice camo. Quick comps look like they could be 60 bucks or more, so I'm pretty stoked about that. We're really finding good stuff here. I'm so glad we, we came for the second stop. This appears to have a battery, the charger, and everything else together, 15 bucks. So if this thing works, it's gonna be worth a lot. If it's not, we can get parts and get our money back. I mean, it's $15, so we're gonna gamble for sure. All right, friends, we're taking the microphone. We're taking the pairs of shorts. We're taking the pants. There's a concert t-shirt in here. We're going to gamble on this thing, you guys. Maybe we can get some white tape right there to make it a little bit better. But $200, this thing's strong. It's paps. It'll even look nice in the garage while it sits in there. So we're going to take that. Plus, we're taking this right here, you guys. There's like 300 bucks easily sitting worth of stuff here. I saw this. It was just interesting to me. It's egg shaped. I like the copper wear. Copper stuff does good just for decoration, but it's kind of interesting. And it's made in Portugal, you guys. It's got a name on there. Can you guys see it? I can't, but I'm going to look it up. It's only eight bucks. For sure, that's going to be a good deal. And today's been such a good day. I've been getting congratulated on the paps, you guys. They're like, congratulations. That's a great find. Guys, this is this a little Tory Birch? Ooh, $50 they're banging for this thing, you guys. It's got a little dirt. This is even the really the birch. Oh yeah, it's got a nice little wallet in there. I don't know how much a Tory Birch purse goes for. But that white on leather is pretty nice. 50 bones though. So Dooney and Burke right there for $40. Let's see. They had some fake Louie up here, but someone must have took the fake Louie, you guys. It was bad fake, but hey, fake Louie's closer to Louie than, than I have, so. I well, don't know. Are you really close if it's fake Louie? I don't know. Would you guys have grabbed any of these purses here at those outrageous prices? What do they got down there? No? All right. I think we got to go. Look at what this is, a ballet foot stretcher. How does a ballet person stretch their feet? It's definitely used, it's got the chalky thing on it. It's $20, it's a little pricey, plus it doesn't have the greatest sell-through rate, but how does this thing work? How does it work, friends? Because I kind of want to stretch my ballet foot. All right, friends, what an incredible day. We went to two different thrift stores. I don't think they knew how much that stuff is worth. We found awesome, awesome stuff. I'm so excited.
in the old school Jimmy Flips hat. I had been doing some stuff for my bike, taking it in there. If you guys watched that video of my bike and trying to get healthy, I thank you very much. So today we're gonna take in the Paps Blue Ribbon. I got this thing for only $10. It's got a little damage there. I think I could probably sell it as is like that, you guys, but this thing can go for two to $300. So in order to get max price, plus I think this is gonna be an easy fix for them. We're gonna take it in there and see how much it's gonna cost you. Let's go check it out and see how much this thing is gonna be, you guys. I bought it for $9, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get to do the full Monty, get it fixed, because look at how clean this thing is, guys. This thing is beautiful, except for this duct tape. When I was in there, I don't think I recorded it, but this guy said, take it to the shoe repair place on Horizon. And he almost sounded like mafioso. He's like, take it to Carmine shoe repair and I don't know if it's Carmine but I was like hmm okay you guys so I did the research I called the the shoe place on horizon and asked her if I could bring in a golf bag and before I even could get the whole bag out she's like bring it in like this is nothing for him guys this thing to me is a major problem but to them I guess it's easy so let's take it over there All right, I'm pulling up to the shoe repair place and can you see that high heel shoe right there? I think we've come to the right place, you guys. With a car that cool, how could this not be my spot, you guys? Look at it. So we'll get a better picture of it, but we're outside quality shoe repair and luggage and upholstery, guys. Of course, these guys will fix anything for you. Just pay them the money, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, they're like, bring it in. So we're gonna bring it in. Now, this thing goes for like one to $300 easily, solidly online. I could also sell it locally, you guys, because this is Las Vegas. We got a lot of golf course and a lot of head drinkers. Paps Blue Ribbon is a classic. So let's go see how much it's gonna cost. I really only wanna pay 40 bucks, I would say. Even 40 is kind of on the high side, but I'm only in at $10. So then I'd be in it for $50. And I think if I had that repaired like that, I could sell it for 250 easily because it's gonna be pretty much in perfect condition. It's really nice, hardly used. I don't know what happened to that. Did a doggy dog get it? Did it, oh, maybe it got caught. Sometimes when uh, the golf carts are out there and people are having fun and having some paps, things happen. So let's go inside and see what the quote is. See what the deal is here. Let's see if we can get this thing fixed up, man. They need some upholstery repair in there. You guys, what is it? The cobbler's kids go barefoot? Yes. We need some repair on this thing. Let's see. We got some boots in here. Quality luggage and shoe repair. Hello. What you got? I called about a golf bag. You're like, bring it in. We fix everything here. Let's see. <laughs> This right there. What's the tape for? Uh, I think for so it didn't have a hole in it. I don't know exactly. Is it yours? It's mine, but I it wasn't mine previously. And it's in such good condition. Besides, that's the thing. Are you trying to keep this? I mean, if that if that doesn't get kept, that's fine. I'm just looking for suggestions and a price. Well, okay. So the cheap way is I just put a piece of leather, slap it on top, and yep. stitch it. And there, you're looking at forty-five bucks. Okay. Um, otherwise, if you want me to try to keep this for you, it would still be pieced from here. Because I need to be able to connect it to this part. Yeah. And then it would be like a new piece, and then we would put this on top of it. And then that I can do for 80. Gotcha. 
Um, could you just do the $40 version and then give me this? And then maybe I could just attach it myself. You know what I'm saying? Are you cutting this whole thing and replacing the, that? Or are you just attaching the side? I'm literally putting it on top. On top? So I have something to hold on to. I got you, I got you. Yeah, because otherwise if I don't have enough yeah. here, then I have to open it and do it the right way. Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I'm delaying here. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Well, let's do it. Which way? The cheap way. Okay. I was hoping, I was like, if it's $40, I'll do it. Hello. Hi. I'm planning on reselling it, so I still need room to move. And then, like, is it worth it to fix it or not? The bag. Oh, well, so, yeah, we're going to get it repaired. So, today's Wednesday. I probably had it already Monday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then did you want to pay half? Or the whole thing right now? Uh, we'll do half right now. Okay. Awesome, thank you very much. All right, you guys, here we go. <sighs> guys, 45 bones. I don't know. I don't know if that was worth it or not. Support a local shop, make a new connection, and this place might be where I go to get my leather goods repaired. I didn't even know. Did you see all that designer luxury goods in there, you guys? Plus, Look at these, look at these, the fleet. They got a fleet of them, friends. A fleet of these shoe things. So you gotta pay to keep the shoes and gas going in those things. So yeah, pretty excited. $45. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you do it, would you not? Now, I don't I don't even know if I'm gonna get all my money back, but I mean, that thing is in such good condition. I'm, Perhaps embroidery is going to be missing too, you guys. But a busted up golf bag, no one really wants a busted up golf bag with duct tape and pay 200 bucks for it. So let's uh, get it fixed. We're in it for 50 now. We're in it for 50. Keep on going about my day, you guys. We'll be back to pick this up and see what it looks like. All right, friends, it's time to pick up our Paps Blue Ribbon golf bag quality shoe and repair you guys they got the repair done let's go in there and check it out i can't wait to sell this thing you guys the comps are awesome there's like six or eight sold on ebay none available right now now i'm gonna probably list it locally because i like cash in my hand and this is a hot hot product we're a drinking city so let's go check on the repair see how it is and then we got to get it listed guys they got boots look here we got boots for sale oh we got a horse right here vest leather you guys omg check out these boots some crocodilias oh my oh, we got the cadazzle oh i was awesome thank you so much that's so awesome yeah no i got it oh 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 Ooh. yeah i might cut it could i glue something or am i crazy you can glue it. Okay. And then you can. I am crazy. Have to stitch it though. It's got to be a stitch. Yeah. It okay. Won't last. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got some friends. <laughs> I might have to hire some more people, but All thank right. you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Okay. All right, you guys. So let's take our last tour around here. There we go. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Ooh. We'll be back for some boots. We hit some jackpot so I can get me some boots. Thank you. Hi. Alright, friends, I'm pretty stoked for the $40. We got the thing, we got the patch. We might have to try to fix that ourselves. I don't know about sewing, fixing golf bags, or anything like that, but I do know quality shoe repair is a cool place, you guys. It smells good, they're friendly. And they got those boots. So when we hit it big, we're going to go get some boots. So I'm off to go list this thing. Let's go list it so we can make some more dough. 
Thank you for watching all the way. I appreciate it so much. I hope you're subscribed and I got a doozy of a video right here. You guys are gonna love it. It's a good one. So make sure you click it, watch it all the way through and check out the next one. Till the next time, we out.